Hey everyone, welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we're making the cupcake pop-up card. Yay! Who doesn't like cupcakes? I like them. So here is all the pieces here. To find it, again, like all the other pop-up cards, they are in projects. You go into cards, and this one right now is on the second row, third from the left, and it's called the Cupcake Pop-Up Card, so you could search it that way as well. So I don't do the envelopes until I'm ready to give the card to someone, because I like to write on them write on them and everything, and the main reason for doing the, the videos for everyone here is to actually put the card together. The envelopes are pretty self-explanatory. So one thing I'm gonna let you know, if you're using eight and a half by 11 card stock, you're gonna have to shrink the project. You can see that the actual card itself is 11 and a half inches long. So to do that, if you've never done it before, highlight everything the double arrows in the bottom right corner just click on that and you can push everything in and you can make the size smaller so i will probably go to about 10 and a half inches for mine that's what i'll cut it out at but whatever works for you if you got the bigger card stock yay if you don't make it a bit smaller you can still put it together but i'm going to get this cut out and we'll get started here is everything cut out. I do recommend for this first part, we're going to be doing some gluing. You grab some tweezers just because we're gluing the candle part together and look how tiny that is. I did end up going with glitter for both colors of the actual flame. I thought that would look better, but they only called for, I believe, the bigger one there to have glue. So let's get started. So glue your little piece of the candle. Do the bigger piece. Try not to get a huge blob on there like I just did. I'm not as worried because this is glitter stock. let those pieces dry so next is the two pink pieces there go onto the candle now they go a specific way so you'll see that that little curve in the bottom makes the curve in the white so that's how you want to attach it And you'll see that this side will do the exact same thing. It'll just be opposite. We're going to let this dry. And then we're just adding the glitter candle flame to the candle flame. Okay, let's quickly glue on the flames. I've given them a chance to dry. Okay, next part. You want your two white pieces with the drawings on top, two slits on the top, two slits on the bottom. I trimmed all my fingernails so it's harder to pick up the cardstock. And you're going to take your bottom of the cupcake, take your first piece, it doesn't matter which way you start, they're opposite. 
So you got four slits. Take one of your inside two slits. And you can slide it on. Take your next piece. So you got one facing towards you with one slit in front of it. Flip it around. Take your second piece. This one goes in your second inside slit. So on the side, you're going to have two outside slits. You can take your other piece of the cupcake wrapper. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. I'm a baker and I uh, had a brain moment there. And slide those in. So now your cupcake can stand up a little bit. There we go. Put them fully on there. Now you have two pieces of your brown cardstock. They go a certain way. So I've got, I'm just going to call this top the wave. So we got our wave coming over to my right. So we want the next one with the wave coming over to the right and that slides into the slots directly in front of the white. Finagle that on there. Mine's not cooperating. Of course it's not, it's a Monday for me. So that's how it should line up. You flip it over. This one needs to go the same wave side. So I had mine backwards there. My bad. Now there are two score lines at the bottom, so you can just tab those outwards, not inwards. Make sure everything else is secure. My pieces just don't want to stay in place. Okay, that's a little better. Let's get a better fold in my tabs there. Okay, now your next part is you have these little guys here. They're going to go opposite, so you want short and long, and then do the opposite on the other side. So these tab in on the upper slits. So let's finagle that one in there. So it should look like that. Now we'll do the opposite one. So remember, we need a short and a long. So I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to slide those ones in. And got to make sure they all line up. Now these tabs do you have score lines on them, so you do have to bend them. I didn't bend them together at first, and the main reason for that, <laughs> I didn't want them getting in the way. There's enough pieces to deal with on this that you don't want that happening. So we can put a little bit of glue on there. Tap that one together. Do the same on the other side. them together. I need a bit more glue on the first side. 
and it did shift. So you don't want them to shift. They got to be lined up very nicely. So we're going to let this part dry and then move on to the next step. Okay, now that the glue is dry, we are going to add these little white pieces. So they get glued onto this tab here. So we got our wave at the top coming towards my right. So this one here is the one that gets glued on this side. This one's a little trickier to get put together. So we're going to glue onto the tab. Then we got to line this up the best we can. It's pretty narrow in there. If you have to, you could probably pop out. No, you can't pop out the brown piece. Never mind. I was about to give you a tip that you can't use. But then flip it over. And you can see we've got the wave going the opposite way. And I'm just lining it up on the side of the brown there. You might find it easier to close it, to give it a pinch. But there we go. Now we got our pretty candle. There's room right in the center for it. So there's two slits at the top. This one has the longer slits on the bottom. So you can slide that piece in. If you want to wait for your white part to finish drying, you can go ahead and do that. But there is the cupcake fully assembled. There's the other side. So my idea with the little glitter for the flame, you can't really see the difference between the gold and the copper. So, <laughs> it was, I didn't need to do that. I probably could have just gone with the more orange colored glitter paper. But, you don't learn unless you try, right? So, I'm going to let mine dry a little bit. We're going to move on to the main part of the card. Get this guy together. So, fold along your score line. Don't fold the wrong way. That's what I was about to do. And the cards, the inserts, as I like to call them, just sit in there like that. So you get them even. Let me grab my tape gun. First one attached. Usually I use my clear glue, but this is a pretty solid cutout image, so I'm not too worried about it. Easy as pie. Okay. Now for the next step, now that I've let that dry a bit, we got our lovely cupcake holder. It does have some score lines in there. Let's get those folded in. And there's also one right there for that little tab. And it goes around the cupcake 
So this is the top. So it just pops around and it's going to hold itself in place. There's no glue on this part. And the tab just goes through that little slit that got cut out. Let's get that in there. There we go. Isn't that so cute? Love it. Okay, we got our circle. There's a score line in there. Now your tabs do get attached to the bottom of your pink. You want to get them in there properly. You just want to make sure everything's going to fold nicely before you tape or glue them in. And it's going to get attached kind of like that. So I'm going to get mine glued. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot of glue. So the square sits in the square, if that makes sense. Make sure nothing's falling apart on the other side. Let's glue the other tab. And this one we'll have to let dry before we attach everything. Okay, now for the last part. Your cupcake's going to line up centered on the score line. So I always like to use my tape gun for this part. Get right to the edge there. Even top and bottom. There's one side. Now we'll do the other side and then show off this cute card. You could do this in uh, blues, blues and browns for a boy if they don't appreciate the pink coloring. Here is the final card. We got our cupcake cut out. The only thing I wish they had done, and this might just be my personal preference, is I wish the cupcake was centered. I think that would look a lot better. But still super cute. We'll open up this card. So there's the top of the card there. There's the side where you can't see much. But there is that cute cupcake. So mine's not, mine is not plumping up as I would like. There we go. Just have to open it up more. There's the other side there, upside down. But I think this is super cute. And you could do this in lots of different colors. It doesn't have to be in the pink. Purple, yellow, you know, whatever someone's favorite color is. This would make an awesome card. Great uh, birthday card, young and old, I think would love this. Not sure who I'm going to give this to. There are, it's obviously a new year, so new birthdays coming up. So I got to stock up on all my cards. This one will go in the pile. But I'd like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.